We're going to take a look at the binary symmetric channel, which is abbreviated BSC. This is a model for a communication channel, and it is defined by a parameter called P sub E, the probability of error of the channel. And basically this BSC lets us model transmitting bits over a channel that have some probability of arriving or being decoded at the receiver in error. So it's basically defined by this conditional probability. The probability I've listed here is the probability that our receiver decides a zero was transmitted given that a one was transmitted. So this would be an error. If I actually sent a one but received a zero, that's an error. And that probability in this model is equal to the probability that a receiver receives a one given that a zero was transmitted. So that's why we use the word symmetric channel because these two different probability of errors are actually equal and they're equal to P sub E. So these are the errors that can occur when I transmit data over this channel. Similarly, there's a probability of being correct. So if I actually transmit a zero and receive a zero, or if I transmit a binary one and receive a binary one, that those would be correct decisions. So those are equal to one minus the probability of error because these conditional probabilities have to sum to one. So when my probability of making an error is P sub E, the probability of being correct is one minus that probability. We can represent this channel in a figure like this, this uh, kind of butterfly diagram. On the left we have the transmitter and on the right we have the receiver. And I can think about transmitting bits across this channel. So if my transmitter actually transmits a zero, if my receiver receives a zero, well that occurs with probability one minus P sub B. E. So we've labeled that edge of the graph with the probability one minus P sub B. E. So this is kind of a correct decision path. The other correct decision path is on the bottom. If we've transmitted a one and received a one, that occurs with probability one minus P sub B. E. The cross terms capture the error probability. So if I transmit a zero but receive a one, that's an error, which we denoted had error probability P sub B. E. And then finally, if I transmit a one but receive a zero, that's the same probability of error P sub B. E. So this is how we can kind of picture mathematically what the binary symmetric channel looks like. And all it's doing is capturing probabilities of receiving bits given certain bits were transmitted. And this is done one at a time. If I transmit one bit, what's the probability of error or the probability of being correct at the receiver? What we would like to do is we would like to transmit n bits. So instead of thinking of transmitting just one bit, let's think of transmitting n bits in succession. So transmit a bit, transmit another bit, transmit another bit, until we have transmitted n bits. And what we're interested in computing is what is the probability that out of all n bits transmitted, that k of them are received in error. So maybe, just to be concrete, maybe you want to think of n as being 10 and k as being 2. So if I actually transmit 10 bits down this channel in succession, what is the probability that two of them are in error? So what this should make us think of, essentially, is Bernoulli trials. If you remember back to the charts on Bernoulli trials, Bernoulli trials were repeated and it was concerned with computing probabilities of having k successes out of the n trials. So it's a little weird right here because Bernoulli used the, the verbiage success, whereas what we're looking for here is error. But don't keep, be confused by that. Really what the Bernoulli trial was doing is it was saying, given I've done something n times, did I see some event k times? So that's what we're doing here. Given that I've transmitted bits n times, did I see the event I got an error k times? So that's what we're really wanting to compute here. So we have an easy way to write this probability. If I want to compute the probability that k errors have occurred out of the n bits, I can write this down very easily just using my Bernoulli trial expression. So that error is n choose k times p sub e to the k times 1 minus p sub e to the n minus k. So this is a general expression for the probability that k errors have occurred out of the n bits. And remember, this formulation does not care about where these k errors have occurred. So if I was transmitting 10 bits, if n was equal to 10, this is the probability that accounts for all different arrangements of k errors. So maybe the first k were an error, maybe the last k bits were an error, maybe it was some random assortment of the n bits, k of them were an error. This accounts for all permutations of k out of the n. 
So let's, let's actually plug in specific numbers just to make this a little more concrete. What if n was equal to 8? My probability of error on a single bit transmission was 10 to the negative 5, and I was worried about k equals 2. What's the probability of 2 out of my 8 bits being an error? So if I plug that in, that turns into 8 choose 2, 10 to the negative 5th to the squared, 1 minus 10 to the negative 5th to the 6th, because n minus k is equal to 6. So I can write that out. 8 choose 2 is 8 factorial over 2 factorial times the difference of 8 and 2. 8 minus 2 is 6, so that's 6 factorial. 10 to the negative 5th squared is 10 to the negative 10. And then 1 minus 10 to the negative 5th to the 6th. So if I plug this into my calculator, I get a number that is approximately 2.8 times 10 to the negative 9. So I have computed the probability of two of my bit errors, two of my bits being an error out of the 8. And again, this calculation assumes that all of these trials are independent. That was one of the assumptions in the Bernoulli formulation. We're assuming as I transmit each bit, each bit that I transmit in turn, the probability of error is independent from transmission to transmission. So this is a very nice general expression for computing this probability of error. And we've specifically evaluated it just to make it a little more concrete for this example and obtain this number.